How do I know if I'm making progress in the gym? Is progress just losing weight? Does it vary for guys and girls? What's up guys, welcome to the video. Do not worry as today we're gonna crack open them questions and dive straight into five signs that you are making progress in the gym besides weight loss for guys and girls. And so with that said guys, I'm Harry Chadwick. This is Action Makes More. Let's get straight into today's video. Before we jump into today's video though guys, I need to address something with every single one of you guys or at least 97.8% of you. 97.8% of you watching this video are not subscribed. What are you doing? You just go down there and you that button and turn notifications on too. Otherwise, it's hot stuff. Seriously though guys, don't forget to go and subscribe and turn notifications on, that way you get notified when I upload the video every Friday at 6pm. Also, it really helps me get my videos out there to more people and hopefully provide the best value I can. With all the business aside though guys, let's get straight into the first sign that you are making progress in the gym. You are able to lift more for the same amount of reps. Let me break this one down a little bit. So, say you are a guy or a girl and you are performing a squat movement. For that movement, you are looking at doing five sets of eight reps, so to say, for 60 kilograms. Over the four weeks, you look to increase your reps a little bit alongside your weight. And before you know it, after a month or so of slowly, progressively overloading, you are able to lift 70 kilograms for five sets of eight reps, so to say. For myself, guys, one of the main details motivators was not knowing if you're making progression in the gym the reason for that is because if you're going to a gym not knowing that you're coming out of it with something better other than the feeling you get after your workout after a few weeks the feeling you get after a workout will die off if you don't know where you're going with your fitness journey and what level you're getting to next. Back when I was in and around the age of 18, I ended up taking a good break from the gym. The reason for that is because I wasn't seeing progression and that completely demotivated me, you know, because I'd look around me at the gym and I'd see all these massive people and my brother was a big one for it. He was always massive muscle-wise in comparison to myself and that used to just absolutely kill my confidence in the gym and therefore I ended up giving up after I realised that I'm not the sort of guy who cannot not go to the gym I ended up getting back into it and when I got back into it I said to myself I was going to make sure that I had progression backstory over the method and things I learned from that situation was to make sure that I note down every bit of progress I make in the gym tweaking it over time to progressively overload and before I know it I knew I was making progression in myself and I could see it in the mirror. Basically guys bottom line go into the gym with a plan. You should know what exercises you're doing, what reps and weight you are aiming for and then on top of that you write down what reps you actually got, the rest time you actually got and the weight that you lift. That should help you guys make progression. Rolling into number two guys the second sign that you are making progression in a gym is progress photos and compliments. This one is pretty self-explanatory. If you end up going to the gym and your goal is to maybe build some muscle, tone up your body a little bit, lose a bit of fat, progress photos are a fundamental part for this. And I'm not talking progress photos every single week to the point where you can't be bothered doing them because there's too much effort. I'm talking maybe one every month. So you can see in that month what sort of progress you have made because visually seeing it will actually help you out. And if you have not made any progress in your month, that's when you need to take a look at your plan and make some tweaks to it. Also, compliments. If your friends, family, work colleagues, whatever, notice that you are going to the gym, and they turn around and actually say, you're looking a lot better, healthier, bigger, leaner, whatever. At that point, you know that you're making progression and you're on the right path. Moving into number three, guys, we have shorter rest periods. This is something that not many people realise. When you go to the gym, your body gets more and more used to the idea of having lift and heavy weight, doing more intense cardio, having more stress placed upon itself. And therefore, 
you'll start to realize that your, your rest periods will slowly decrease because your body's getting used to the fact that you are putting a lot of demand on it and therefore it will adapt to that demand. If you see your rest periods are going down guys, then that means you are making progress in your fitness journey. Number four guys, you're feeling more energetic in yourself. This one was a massive one for me. Now guys, I know everyone is different, but for me, when I was not going to the gym for a certain amount of time, back when I was about 18 or so, I ended up getting pretty fat. <laughs> when you're in that mindset that you're not going to the gym, you'll always feel a little bit lazy or whatever, and you'll just decide to do the least productive thing you possibly can, because that's what's easier to you. Now, I'm not saying that's the same with everyone, but it's definitely what I was like when Fly. Fly. When I started going to the gym again though, I found after a couple of weeks or so, because the first two weeks, you know, I felt like I was about to die on rough times. But after that first two weeks, you start to realise that you've got more energy, you can run up the stairs, you can go downstairs and do this and it's dead quick and you can go to shop and not feel knackered and, you know, you can do a lot of things without feeling like you're absolutely done in. Another example is the weights. If you are lifting weight that felt really heavy for you at the start and you're lifting and now thinking, wow, that is so easy. At that point, go up, you know, that's progress. Increase the weight, that's for weight training. If you're doing cardio and you're doing it for a length of time, say five minutes, and you feel absolutely fine after that five minutes, increase it to seven minutes. And from there, you go up to nine minutes and it's 11 minutes. And before you know it, you've done it for 20 minutes and you still feel like you can run even further. That is a sign that you are making progress in the gym. Now guys, before we jump into the last point, go down there and leave a comment telling me what sort of signs that you have seen in yourself to notice you are making a difference in the gym. And I'm not joking about here guys. I genuinely want you to go down there, leave a comment obviously at the same time, leave a little like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe as well, ding that notification bell, all that jazz. But genuinely go down there, type out a comment and post it. Moving into number five guys, the final sign that you are making progress in a gym, hitting your personal bests. Now I know guys, for a lot of you that may seem like, what the hell, this guy's waffling. Obviously that's a sign that you're doing it. But I know, and I guarantee there are a few of you guys watching this video, either you've never stepped foot in a gym, or you have stepped foot in a gym, you've been going to the gym, you've not been seeing progress, and for whatever reason, you have not got a personal best noted down. And for that reason, I want you, next time you are in a gym, to note down in your notes, on your phone, what your personal best is for whatever you're doing, whether it's cardio, you know, interval training, whether it's weight training, whether it's plyometric training, whatever sort of training you are currently doing, CrossFit or whatever, I want you to write down your personal best and always look to strive towards beating that personal best because the only competition you should have in a gym is yourself. Hashtag Mr. Motivator. But genuinely guys, having a personal best is a very good goal setting thing for you to do. It's a very good motivator and I'm not going to lie to you, when you hit that personal best, it is a great sign that you are making progress in the gym. So guys, now you know all the different signs that you are making progress in the gym. If you missed my last video for whatever reason, I'll put it on screen there, click the link and go and watch that. It was my biggest mistakes to make in the gym. Don't forget, my Instagram links are still up there. If you have any questions or queries or video ideas you want me to discuss, don't forget to either comment down below or hit me up on my Instagram. I'm an open book and I'm more than happy to help you guys and offer my services. Check out my other videos on screen. I hope you all have a sick weekend and until next week, Peace.